Welcome to Rock and Reddit. Let's get started. High school teachers of Reddit, what is the one thing that you want your students to know that you'd never tell them in person? I encourage my worst kids as much or more than my favorites because I don't want them back in my class next year. Your parents are literally the worst part of my job. Nine tenths times when you have it a student acting a different and you meet their parents for the first time it explains a lot. Often everything. Yes, I put you in a group with the kid you have a crush on intentionally. I'm stuck here with you 180 days a year. I want to see some drama. My food and nutrition teacher started off the semester telling us not to question her seating slash grouping decisions because at that time she had 5 known adult couples that got married specifically because they met in her class. She showed us pictures of her at their wedding. As far as I know she had a 0% divorce rate with half of the couples being together at least 20 years. I think what you learn in the other classes is mostly useless rubbish. The things you're supposed to do to learn it is boring and ineffective. And the way our schools are organized is archaic and not fit for humans, much less kids. I'm not saying I liked fights in my classroom. I'm just saying I might have taken a little longer to react when the jerk student slash bully was finally getting what was long overdue. Also, thank you to my students who would have my back when they'd kindly remind the class that I exist. Hey, you all mouth the fuckers shut the fuck up. Mr. Blank is trying to teach. I had to look a little disappointed, but I appreciate you and I thank you for being my voice. Stop wearing your furry tail. Everyone is uncomfortable. Wait what? Yes, we have a new seating chart, and yes, I sat you next to her, because I can tell you have a crush on her. I noticed you try harder on your work when she is around, and to be honest, you two would make a cute couple. I'm no longer a teacher, but I remember several days that I felt lazy and wanted to give the class the day off. I never did, because I knew the teacher's pet would rat me out. Sometimes even the teachers don't like the teacher's pet. I'd let you get away with so much more if you were actually a decent person who treated others with kindness and respect. Our souls rarely get the benefit of the doubt or indifference point absolutely this. Kids would be surprised by how much freedom they could get if they all tried to be nice to each other. If you're nice to me and aren't disruptive I'll always work the numbers in your favor when it comes time to post grades. I teach middle school in Taiwan. My students are 60% ESL. 30% intermediate English proficiency and 10% native fluency only have 42 students, so this number is pretty on the money. I want to tell them this, I'm not an idiot. When you are ridiculing me in Chinese, I've picked up phrases and know which ones you're using. Don't act surprised when I give you detention for calling me Bendon, Dumbus, or Beiji, idiot. I know what you're saying ugh. Bendon. Trying hard is necessary, but not sufficient for most accomplishments. Intelligence is necessary, but not sufficient for most accomplishments. I can't tell the sweet, hardworking but unintelligent kid he won't be a doctor. I can't tell the smart but lazy asshole he won't be a doctor. Both end up in my remedial class and blame being in remedial class on mean teachers labeling them. I appreciate childhood is the time for dreams but it means people make terrible decisions when they don't understand that we just put them at the highest level we think they can pass. We don't know why they are years behind their peers, just that they are. I try to see potential and inspire kids to try their best, I really do. But there's not a lot I can do if someone is dedicated to hiding their low intelligence by trying to appear as a lazy asshole instead, or trying to hide their higher intelligence by pretending to be unintelligent to get easier work. You can be unsuccessful at school, but successful in life. I pretend that it is important for you to do well in my subject, but in reality you'll most probably find your niche in life and be reasonably content or hopefully extremely happy. You might hate maths, English, science, but turn out to be the most amazing parent, artist, carpenter or even a mathematician, playwright or researcher. You might get the lowest scores in class and end up being the most successful of your peers. I feign annoyance, anger, disappointment. I reluctantly phone your parents, give you detentions, or write up critical reports. I have to, it's my job, 
If you do well in my subject then that's great, but if you don't then just relax. We can't all be good at everything. Oh, and do you think you hate exams, tests, and homework? Your mild dislike of the work is a mere candle flame compared to the hatred that burns like a million suns that I feel when I have to fucking mark it. <laughs> yelling fuck in the hallways doesn't make you a badass. Teachers are yelling fuck in their heads all day long. <laughs> I can see who you have a crush on in the classroom. My philosophy teacher straight up told me, stop flirting with blank, you're here to work. Wasn't taking any bullshit that day. The weed smell doesn't magically disappear between the parking lot and my classroom. How do I smell bro? You're good, me. You're good too. We can smell the weed. Seriously, at least wait until after school. It's called high school for a reason, right? Look, obviously I'm on Reddit all day too, or I wouldn't be posting here, but for the love of god can you please pretend to be working, so I can go back to being disappointed by reposts. If your parents ML a teacher and argue with them, the whole staff knows. At least at my school. Yes, and when there is a parent who is particularly awful to a teacher, that teacher will warn all of the kids future teachers before they even sit in their assigned seat on the first day of school. I just wanna say that I love all of you wonderful, underappreciated and underpaid teachers. Teachers got me through some of the worst times of my childhood and adolescence. Except for you, Mrs. Hanson. Fuck you. That we have much better hearing than you assume. We just choose our battles as it pertains to inappropriate comments. And sometimes I pretend not to see that thing you did, just because I too found it humorous, and speaking to you about it would only result in me cracking up. If I know your name by the third day of a new school year, that means you're probably an asshole. Or, you have a really weird name. When you think you are being genius by getting me to talk about random things at the beginning of class instead of teaching, I'm really allowing it to happen because I don't have enough plan to cover a full class. My favorite high school teacher, he taught history, confessed on the last day of my senior year that he always started class by talking about something completely random because he knew none of us were ready to pay attention right when class was supposed to start. Had no idea. It was a really good strategy that made the transition into the lesson a lot less jarring. Not a teacher, but an evening janitor. Part of my area is where the robotics club gathers and works. You guys are so amazing. I wish you could see what I see. A group of kids who are well mixed in ethnicity and gender working hard together. I never see signs of drama when I walk by. When I look through the windows I can see that you guys are listening to each other and treating each other seriously while also having fun. When you guys leave at night, your room is my favorite room to clean. It's always so clean already and I get to look at your projects and see what all that elbow grease is doing. It's so encouraging to know that these kids are part of our future. They stay an average of 2 hours after school every day and you can tell it's not forced. They are so enthusiastic that their energy practically shines into the hallway. I celebrate every time a new award is added to the trophy cabinet in the hall. I'm a bus driver. Sit the fuck down you will die if I crash. Understood. Stands up. A lot of us probably drink, smoke, sleep around, etc more than you do, and hearing you talking about it, and trying to hide it, as if it's something we wouldn't know about is richly ironic. A few off the top of my head, just because I like you as a person doesn't mean that I won't fail you. Being smart isn't a justification for being lazy, and I can't pass someone that never hands in work. I moved you away from your friends, because they were taking you down with them. You have a real future in sports, but you need to pass my class to play them. Your friends were making you fail, and, if you don't get to play volleyball, I don't know what kind of future you have in front of you. I wish that the positivity that you get in my class could follow you home. I've met your parents and they are a nightmare. I do my best to encourage you here, but I know that, some days, that just might not be enough. I have never, and will never find a student intimidating. That's why I laughed at you, when you asked me, if I knew who your father was. Yeah, he's the manager of a car dealership, that means nothing to nobody. I had a kid throw a desk at me, and, while it scared me in the moment, it didn't make me fear him. 
one day, you will meet someone who has real power, and I just wish that I could be there to see it. One day you're going to come across people who are not being paid to tolerate you, and all of a sudden life is going to become considerably more difficult. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave your high school teacher stories in the comments. Have a fantastic day, and don't let your memes be dreams.